Hello everybody and welcome to the barbecue shop here at Hayes Garden World. As always, we're joined by top barbecue chef, Mr. Richard Holden. Hi folks. And in this video we're going to be doing char suey pork. Yep. And we're going to be using a Kadai fire bowl. So Richard, talk us through how we're going to prepare this dish. So the pork tenderloins have already been prepared. The silver skin's been taken off the top. And if you don't know how to do that, just get your butcher to do it for you. Uh, the marinade, which is in this bowl here, is a combination of fresh ginger that's been peeled and grated. And top tip for peeling your ginger is to use the tip of a spoon. Uh, we've also got Chinese five spice. We've got rice wine, tomato ketchup, hoisin sauce, uh, honey, soy, and some brown sugar. Ingredients in the blog below, in the, um, in the caption below, that all gets mixed together, popped into a dish or a food bag with the pork tenderloins into the fridge, a couple of hours, take them out, and they look something like this. So Richard, are we ready to go to the grill? <coughs> we are. So what we're going to do first of all is we're going to oil our grill. I'm just going to use half an onion. We've got a little bit of uh, cold-pressed rapeseed oil in the dish here. Uh, and we've got, we've got uh, charcoal underneath the grill. Sorry, did you just get That's a... That's all right. We've got a little bit... Of, we've got charcoal under the grill along this front edge. We should say that this uh, cauldron, this wok, has got a dish in it that's a easy Mediterranean casserole stew that if you want to check out the video, that's on the YouTube channel as well. So um, that's what's going on there. So you can do multiple things on the caddi at the same time. So just going to um, ah, pick that little centre piece up. So that is oiled. And now we're going to take our pork tenderloins. I'm going to pop those straight on. Now because of the sugar and the, um, the honey and the brown sugar and the hoisin sauce in this dish, we don't want the, the heat to be too hot underneath there because it is going to catch. So what we're going to do is we're going to give them a couple of minutes on the first side. We're just going to keep rotating those until we've got some nice color on the outside. Then we'll temp temperature check them to the core using the thermopan or the, the temperature probe. And then we'll, if they need a little bit more carrying on, need a little bit more cooking, we'll move them around this side of the bowl where we've actually got no heat underneath the bowl. We've just got radiant heat circulating. So we'll give those a couple of minutes and we'll come back and take a look. So these have had a couple of minutes. And if we just have a, a little turnover, we can see that the underside is cooking. We've got some nice caramelization on that side there. This one's a little bit nearer to the heat. Um, the heat doesn't quite go to the edge of the fire bowl. So this one's going to cook a little bit quicker, but what we can do is partway through, we'll turn them, we'll switch them over so that they get an even cooking. Uh, but yeah, just keep an eye on them, keep rotating them, don't let the sugars caramelize. And we're just going to keep rotating those and we'll, in a couple of times we'll, we'll give them a quick temperature check as well. Right, so we've been turning the pork tenderloins, uh, not letting them get too caramelized on any particular side. Um, if they've needed to just move away from the heat, there's a section over here that has no fuel underneath the grill. But if you put your hand there, it's still got a good heat, so it's going to get warm on the inside. So if we just temperature probe these, uh, we have uh, 63, 64, 65. So well-sourced pork, you can go to 65 core temperature. And on the second one, we are 64, 65, perfect. So we're going to take these off. So we'll just grab these um, barbecue tongs. There we go. That's going to come off. Now, normally you would rest this for as long as you've cooked it for. Let's just pop those under there. You would rest this for as long as you've cooked it for, but we're just going to go ahead and slice into these. Um, if you wanted to do, you could baste with the remaining um, char suey marinade as you are cooking. What I'm going to do with this, and this is being served, and that's 65. If you get well-sourced pork, you can serve it nice and rose, which is what this is. Oops, there we go. And then we'll just transfer over onto the slate in a moment. But this, is, uh, this is a different way. If you're, used to use, if you're used to watching the videos that we do on, the, on this channel, you'll notice that we we don't have a lid in this one. It's all we normally do all about lid down cooking, but the kadai is a different uh, style of cooking, uh, and it's just about maintaining the fire in the same way. But it's also about allowing the heat. It's just a bit more of a, a gentle cook, isn't it? You're going to be cheeky and have a bit of the food before it's been uh, plated. So what we'll do is we'll just. Spread that. It's really tasty. It's really, really good. Nice little bit of sweetness. And you get that smokiness. We've just 
We've had a little bit of unlit charcoal just around the edge of the fire bowl as we've been cooking this pork tenderloin. So we're going to get that smoke in us. So we'll just carry on. Ha ha! That's a little bit toasty. Right, let's just pop this on the slate. Pop that behind. And then our coleslaw is just a combination. We've got some red cabbage in here. We've got some coriander, uh, some carrots, some spring onion, a little bit of fresh chili. And then that's just dressed with a little bit of lemon juice and some lemon zest. And that's just going to go on the corner there. And that is our barbecued char suey pork tenderloin with a spicy coleslaw cooked over, light char over natural charcoal on the cut eye fire bowl. So if you want to find out about this recipe, visit the website, hazegardenworld.co.uk. Mm. It'll be in the blog, blog section of the website. It's really nice, isn't it? Mm. Had a cheeky taste before. I know. Um, if you want to find out about all the Cadai range, come and see the team here in the barbecue shop. We have it all outside, just as you walk in, all set mm. up there, all the different sizes and things like that. Um, so all that's left for us to say is thank you for watching. Thanks, folks. And we'll see you again next time.